hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about solar so we'll see that what is solar when it can be used and how we use it in different applications so solar is what solar is basically a search client right basically we use it for improving the search that's what the main purpose of solar now solar is open source it's written in java and it's basically a project of apache lucene right so it's it's over the wrapper of apache lucene so earlier it was the lucene project and then solar and then it was solar so which was made after some improvement in lucene project right and you could easily integrate it with the apache hadoop so that's why it's it's very capable of using with big data right now there are some of the features which makes it very good search client though nowadays there are elastic search which is again very good good search client but still solar has very good capabilities and which makes it very good search client so in in, in fact in our system which where we have the massive amount of data we are using solar for improving the search right so let's see what are the major features of solar now first of all it is full text search means searching document in full text database rather than metadata so gen generally what happens that normal search happens in metadata but solar search in full text database it will go deep inside the every text every character and it will gives you the result right so that's that's very that's very major feature of solar that it search in the full text database on each text on each text of database right now the second very good point is term search right means hit highlighting so as soon as you as soon as you type something then it gives the result so actually actually the apis of uh, api of solar are so good so robust that whatever there are different capabilities and all things are handled through java api right you just whenever you will type or you will ever enter the uh, search so it will give you the result it will it will basically hit the api it will give you the query parameter it will go to the index solar index and it will return you the result right so that's uh, so that that's uh, again one of the major feature of solar term search now faceting so faceting was uh, announced later but faceting is again very good term which we are again using in our project so what happen in faceting that let's say let's say you have different uh, attributes right so if you have chosen the one attribute let's say category so earlier let's say there were mobile category electronic category tv category now you choose only tv so as soon as you choose the tv then other filters will get removed and only filters which are related to the tv will get uh, will be displayed right so tv so it could be like what are the uh, what are the tv size or what are the different features right so this is faceting so faceting is again good feature that solar provides now real time indexing real time indexing is again very good feature so what happens that you need not to wait for index to be covered so let's say let's say if earlier there were uh, there were 1 million product right now you again added 0.1 million product so what could happen that your search is already working and now you need to index the new new words right new search result or new data so what you will do it will it has basically a real time indexing so real time indexing basically run on og on servers on og servers so it will automatically index the data and as soon as the indexing is completed so it will go directly into the solar index sense solar indexes and it's available for the searching right so that's that's very good functionality of real time indexing so basically earlier it was the full indexing that you need to index the whole data even if you add the two product but now it is now it is real time indexing so basically it it index only only on this two product relatively right so now earlier when it used to take time more so now it's taking only less time so that's again solar has improved a lot right now uh, it has a dynamic clustering so dynamic clustering means that because it's used on the big data so it can has several nodes like in our project we have around uh, we have around several we have around three nodes nowadays which we are using so on three nodes we have basically replication factor is 2 so basically we save our data on two nodes so even if one node is fail we can directly go to other node right so this is on one region now we have different regions so on each region we have the 
three servers three solar app node right so this we can add the dynamic clustering so now let's say if we have again uh, the like if our hits are coming more so what we can do we can again add another server so it's very dynamic right now database integration so database integration is very good in solar you could easily integrate solar in hbase like in our project we are using is uh, we are integrating is with hbase we are integrating is with cassandra and as well we are integrating it with mongodb so it's very good it's very good a uh, database integration now it has a no sql features so if you see if you see the so, the solar uh, ui you could see easily that uh, it can it can have any attribute right the schemas are not that fixed or it need not to be fixed so it has a no sql feature right now it has rich document handling so it can it can accommodate so many documents type so that that is why it, again it's a very good thing right now solar is widely used for mainly searching and analytic use case right searching is that i explained that searching is very important and analytic case as well so let's say if you want to analyze something so what we can do we can uh, we can put all that data into index and then we can use a solar indexes and then we can check that what's what's in in the data right now solar can run as a standalone full text search server right it uses the lucene java search library at its core for full text indexing and search right so full text indexing is the same thing that when you are doing the force indexing or full text so what it does it basically index the each character right so that's the beauty of solar so like what we are doing let like we have a e-commerce site and now now in e-commerce site a product can have let's say 50 attributes a another pr product can have a different 50 attributes so what it does it says that i can index on each character each each text so whatever you will search i have that index right so the indexing is so good of solar that it will give you the result in, in seconds of action right now it has the rest like html or uh, json apis that max it usable from programming language like in our project we are using using java rest apis you can and you can have xml or other thing as well right now solar's external external configuration allows to be tailored to many type of application without java coding that's correct that you can easily integrate solar with any uh, any other microservices right so that's again a beauty of solar so uh, that's all about solar guys we have seen that what are the major features it provides so that we can use the solar and and solar is widely used in distributed applications it's very good it's very good has such capabilities because there are systems like mongodb and and the redis so so these are basically they provide the search but not that good right like mongodb has the full text search but it's not that good because in mongodb again we need to create the indexes we need to create the compound index and again compound index so it's not it's not that feasible but when we but when you have the big data so much of data then you can use this solar for improving your search right so that's it guys that's all about this video though i know that elastic search is good so we'll see about it later but uh, for now this is all and if you think that if there is any good good search clients which are available in the market so please let us know in the comment section and i will see that so thanks and if you like the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you